Hi everyone, it's Simon from MotionVFX.com. With everything we do, we try to look into the future. MotionVFX was the first company to ever produce templates for Apple Motion, and with the release of Final Cut Pro 10, we were the first to offer packs of templates with titles, lower thirds, and transitions that can be used directly within the app. World's first plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 was also created by us. I guess you can say we literally invented the market for Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro 10 templates and plugins. Our products are, and always have been, an answer to your needs and requests. You can see them in advertisements, corporate videos, YouTube, content created by big names, and even in feature films. While designing our templates and plugins, we pay much attention to functionality that essentially is the factor that creates new possibilities, new experiences, and new ways of reaching broader audience. We deliver tools of the future to amaze your clients. We also love solving problems to make your motion design and video editing life easier. I'm always very moved and happy whenever I hear that we are the only reason that prevented the user of Final Cut Pro from moving to another platform like, say, Adobe Premiere. Thank you for that. As you probably noticed, we haven't released any new templates or major plugins for around four months now. But this month is about to change. I wanted to personally give you an update on what we are working on and what lies ahead. For almost three years, we have been working hard on something that hasn't been done by anyone for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion Community. It was a tough time for us, especially in terms of difficulty of goals we set for us and a huge financial burden for the company. Imagine a team of people designing a product for three years without any investors, but solely with a dream of changing the world. We went all in on this one, but that's who we are. We live the vision. And during that process, we learn a lot and it will have a tremendous influence on our future products. So, it's September 2018, and this month we will introduce a new plugin called MO2. You've probably already heard of it because it has been present on our social media for months. And I hope we got you all excited by this thing, because, because this thing is really huge. MO2 is not only about being a physically based renderer, but also a 3D geometry reader, an SVJ extruder, a 3D replicator, a tool for animation behaviors, shading, rendering, and much, much more. And it was created with users of Motion and Final Cut Pro in mind. It's a brand new thing that will let you use those apps like never before. If you're mainly a Motion user, imagine importing your 3D models and animating them directly inside your favorite app. It's like using Motion on stairs. If you use Blender, for example, or Cinema 4D, you will be able to import your models or even the whole scenes into motion and finish your motion design work there. You will reach more clients and they will love you for it. What's more, we designed the plugin the way that makes the same functionality and UI present in Final Cut Pro 10, which allows editors to enrich their work with 3D models and beautiful real-time physically based renderings. We are aware we have achieved something that has never been done before. So I wanted to personally thank all of you for your passion and support. It really means a lot. With MO2, we open a brand new chapter in the history of motion design for Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro 10, in the belief that we unfold a broader spectrum of possibilities of these apps. And everything we do, we do out of passion because we believe this is the right way to go. I often get a question, why Final Cut Pro and not Premiere or Resolve? Don't get me wrong, these are really good apps and working in Hollywood on major feature films like Sin City, Fantastic Four or Flight of the Phoenix, I learned that tools don't matter. And you should go for the ones that let you work faster and are closer to your heart. It's the final effect that matters. But Final Cut Pro and Motion allows us to work with blazing speeds and our motion creations prove that you don't need a monthly subscription to produce outstanding motion design and a $50 app is more than enough. So you can get a lifetime license for those two apps for $350. Besides, 
We chose the Apple platform because our creativity knows no boundaries and we love what we do. Our sales model proved that you guys love pay and own and the possibilities of customization of our products, which are virtually infinite. We are not a company that remakes and mixes together old products to make an imitation of something else, but rather we raise the bar. And again, we set a higher standard for the future by developing something that has never been tried before. So today, we announced that MO2 will be released on the 19th of September, 2018, and it will revolutionize the way you work with motion design in Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro. Here at Motion VFX, we believe that this plugin will change the industry forever, and we can't wait to see what you will create using it. Stay tuned, and all the best to you all. Thank you.